the German retreat behind the Meerschelt Canal allowed the reshuffling of units and General Student took this opportunity to remedy the situation at the British bridgehead near Neerpelt. The overstretched lines of Battlegroup Shield made students realize something had to be done to cope with the emergency at hand. Expecting a large breakthrough to the north, a new paratroop command could do the job. For this reason, he created a new battle group south of Eindhoven to close the gap between Battlegroup Shield and Division Eertman. Colonel Erich Walter was the new commander of this battle group. He was a paratroop officer from the inception of the German airborne forces in 1935 and participated in airborne operations in the Netherlands, Norway, Crete and Sicily. He was appointed to command Battlegroup Walter consisting the 6th Parachute Regiment which was transferred from Battlegroup Shield, another Parachute Regiment with two battalions, a Luftwaffe Pino Battalion and an improvised SS force. Altogether, the battle group was composed of eight infantry battalions. After September 13th, it was soon dubbed Parachute Division Walter. Meanwhile, the British were moving in troops and making preparations for the largest airborne operation in history so far. The plan was to drop airborne troops north of Eindhoven, south of Nijmegen and west of Arnhem to capture all the bridges needed for the swift advance of 30th Corps. The start line would be the Neerpelt bridgehead and the objective was to reach Arnhem Bridge in 48 hours. It was in other words vital for this operation to maintain this bridgehead at Neerpelt. It had to be held at all costs. The whole operation called Market Garden depended on it. Due to the huge amount of armor moving from Antwerp to the Bering and Hasselt area, the Germans were fully aware this bridgehead would be used as a jump off position, but they were not aware of the scale of the upcoming Allied offensive. General Student was determined to eliminate the British bridgehead with his trusted 6th Parachute Regiment. In creating the battle group Walter, he cut out the interference of army generals like Scheel and Reinhardt, or adding more paratroop spirit with Colonel Walter. Similar to the battle plan for bearing a bridgehead, the 6th Parachute Regiment was once again the proverbial hammer to do the job. For this purpose, the 6th Parachute Regiment was moved from Postel to Laxgestel and reinforced with 6 assault guns. The plan was as follows. The German forces north and east of the bridgehead would attack to divert the British, after which von der Heide's regiment would swoop in to finish the job. On paper the plan was sound, but the units involved were not in pristine shape. Though the Luftwaffe Pino Battalion was a unit with some combat experience, the unit's morale was badly shaken by the sudden death of its commander by a direct hit on his command post and its sudden transfer from behind the front in sunny Italy to the relatively cold Netherlands also dampened spirits. The soldiers still wore their tropical uniforms. The regiment von Hofmann was composed largely of inexperienced officers and raw recruits who were drafted three weeks before. It was nevertheless regarded as a parachute regiment even though it had only two battalions instead of the usual three. And even the 6th Parachute Regiment was not in pristine shape, because it had been in heavy combat in the previous days and taken significant losses. Besides, there was pressure from 88th Corps to keep one of its battalions as Corps Reserve. This was rejected by Parachute Army Headquarters, but as a compromise, one battalion was left behind in Luikskestel. This meant that the main attack was to be carried out by just two battalions. During the night, the 1st Battalion moved with the assault guns to a forest near the bridgehead to conceal their presence until daybreak. At daybreak, these forces linked up with the 2nd Battalion to advance towards the village of the Colony. Initially, the attack seemed to take off well. The Fischerjäger pushed the Irish guards back relentlessly, 
making them evacuate the village. The Germans were on their tails. But in the wake of Operation Market Garden, the British were in no mood to give up their jump-off position. They called in an immense artillery barrage which broke up the German attacks and caused dozens of casualties. In the afternoon, the Irish guards launched a counter-attack to throw the paratroopers out of their positions near the bridge. Frustration was rife in von der Heide's headquarters in Leuchtkestel. His regiment lost the equivalent of two companies, which he attributed to the lack of artillery support, which was promised by 1st Parachute Army, but was not passed on in the chain of command. After the setback, no more attacks were undertaken by Faisalmjäger Regiment 6, and von der Heide deployed his battalions along his new sector at the Muskeld Canal. It was the silence before the storm that was about to sweep over the German front with the start of Operation Market Garden. In the upcoming events, von der Heide's regiment was about to play a significant role in the derailment of this ambitious operation to literally jump over the River Rhine. If you like my content, please like this video, share it on YouTube and other social media and subscribe so you never miss a new video.